Only the richest can enjoy such programs. Selective groundwater, strict temperature control, perfect simulation of the human condition in the matrix. This made the man feel very comfortable. But suddenly, Akar freaked out. Wait, why are there so many eels? Akar frantically escapes the tank. But look at the tank after he is pulled out. Not a single eel. Did he just read it wrong? But it was not the first time something strange had happened to him in this strange sanatorium. A few days ago, he was sent by the company to look for his boss, Frank, who he hadn't heard from since. The sanatorium was once an old castle. Two hundred years ago, the last baron, the owner of the castle, decided to marry his own sister in order to keep his blood. The villagers can't take this kind of thing. They stormed the castle and burned the baron's sister alive. The patients who get into the nursing home these days are rich, but everyone follows the rules. They had to ride this driver up and down hills, and there's no signal at all. It's almost completely cut off. Akar asks to see Frank, but it's past the allowed visiting hours. He was turned down, but in a place like this, no one who comes wants to leave. The manager tells Akar that Frank is in therapy and can't see him. He asked Akar to come back another time. Akar was on his way back when a deer rushed out. When he woke up, Akar was in a nursing home. He broke his leg and had to stay here to recover. While unconscious, the dean helped him call his company and asked for a leave of absence. He told Akhart to drink plenty of water. The mountain springs here are especially good for you, but there are worms in the water. It's disgusting. Akhart doesn't think much of it. He squashes it to death. He had to find Frank first, but slowly, he realized that patients here don't need surgery, don't need medicine. They just do exercises in the water. Sana. That can cure the disease, but they work. These old ladies can now dive without even breathing. The water here is really unusual, and Frank is in the sauna. The sauna is also quirky. He lost his way when there was only one way. Doors pop up and disappear. In the end, he couldn't even find his way back. The mist of water gradually dissipated. Akhart finally finds Frank, but Frank wouldn't listen. Akhart wants to give up, but Frank suddenly mentions his father. Turns out his dad and Frank used to be partners and they jumped off a bridge because they were broke. Frank recalls working with Akhart's dad. He finally agreed to go back with Akhart. Akhart immediately asked the front desk to call a cab. While waiting for the bus, he noticed a dilapidated church. A professor beside him looked at him with interest. It was here, she said, that the former baron executed the rebels. And oddly, this is the only place in the castle that hasn't been renovated. Then Akhart heard someone singing. Oddly enough, the nursing home is full of old people. What is a young girl doing here? The girl said that she had lived here since she was a child and that she had never been outside. No one ever leaves. She glanced at the master's office and turned away. Akhart then thought, why hasn't the car arrived yet? But there was no one at the front desk. When he went to Frank's room, he saw the nurses cleaning the room. What about Frank? Akhart asked the dean. But the dean asked him, are you sick? Akhart suddenly started having nosebleeds, and then he completely passed out. Akhart is 27 years old, but he was diagnosed by doctors as being less healthy than a 70-year-old man. The dean offered to invite him to stay. Akhart pretends to agree. Then, while the dean was gone, he dug up Frank's medical records. As a result, he was almost discovered by the dean. He quickly grabbed a pendant and pretended to admire it. Unexpectedly, the dean said that it was the Baroness. That is, the Baron's sister's pendant. She was seriously ill at the time, and it was the Baron who first discovered the healing effects of groundwater. What kind of treatment is it? Akhart is immersed in the water tank, and he is gradually submerged by groundwater. His mind began to flash back past memories. It started as a carefree plaything with his father. Finally, he thought of his father jumping off a bridge to his death. He opened his eyes and found that the water was full of eels. When the nurse rescued him, she explained that it was a normal hallucination during treatment. Of course, Akhar doesn't believe me. According to the medical records, Frank was in good health. He went into a nursing home and suddenly started losing teeth. Something must have been done to him, and he found that the gardener secretly brought something to the church every night. Sensing Akhar's interest in the church, the gardener seals the vents. Doesn't that mean there's a secret here? He went to ask the professor, but the professor doesn't know what the church does now, but he still found something. It turned out that the villagers did not rebel because they could not accept the Baron's marriage. It's because he experimented on living people, 
so he could find a cure for his sister. Then the nurse reminded him that it was time to go to therapy. But as the professor left, he whispered to Ockhart, There is a terrible darkness. Behind him, the nurse was staring at him meaningfully. Now, he had to figure out why Frank lost his tooth. Ockhart wants to go down and get someone to look at the chart. He asked the girl for help, but she was afraid to leave the nursing home without permission. Ockhart can only pull out one toy. He said his mother gave it to him on her deathbed. This finally got to the girl. They went to the bar for information, but they learned that the only nursing home in town had a doctor. The others only had one vet. Ockhart decided to go to the vet. He had no idea what the vet had said. The disease turned out to be chronic dehydration. Are you kidding me? People in nursing homes are either drinking water or soaking in it. How could he be dehydrated? Could that have something to do with the Baron's secret experiment? The vet said the Baroness was not ill at all. Each of her pregnancies was deformed, and she always miscarried. So the Baron was experimenting with groundwater to help his wife reproduce. He called immediately to report the situation to the company. But he gets yelled at, why aren't you back? Ockhart is confused. The Dean didn't even ask for leave. He confronted the girl. What was going on? But just then the Dean found them. After that, the witness kept piling up. Akhar found himself drinking water while his lips got drier and drier. Even he lost a tooth. While the nurse went to store the tooth, Akhar found out where Frank is now. He looked all the way, but found the professor first. The professor was clearly half dead, but she doesn't seem to know that she's still talking to Akhar about the Baron. In fact, she said the Baroness had been pregnant before the villagers rebelling. When the villagers found out, they dug up the fetus and buried him alive. But instead of dying, the fetus survived on the ground water. And so on. Does the professor have something going through his body? He was so frightened that he knocked down the shelf. He was spotted by a carer on patrol. He quickly found a random house to hide. But when he looked up, he freaked out. The guests are immersed in water like specimens. And Frank was one of them. Ockhart runs away in fear. But he couldn't get out of the carer's circle. The dean said the most horrible things in the nicest possible tone. Since your tooth is bad, it must be fixed. Then he drew Ockhart's incisor straight through. Ockhart burst out. He climbed into the car while... Wow. The driver was taking people up the hill. He left the nursing home to report the crime. Relieved, he sees the sheriff's collection and he realizes that the bottle is identical to the bottle in the nursing home. Does the sheriff work for the dean? Two, he tried to go at once, but it was too late. Now Frank, who had been a specimen, was alive again. Akhar wavered, who has the problem? The dean explained that Ockhart was hallucinating from a traumatic childhood. As for the legend of the Baron, he must have been deceived by the old woman because he was actually a mental patient. Ockhart can't tell the difference between real and fake. He was taken back to the sanatorium, and it was this night that really broke him. He heard a strange noise in the pumping tank, but when he opened it, it was full of eels. But when he looked more closely, there was nothing in it. The eel must be in the toilet. He just took the toilet out. But the water that comes out is clean. He had to admit that he did have a problem. He even wanted to write a resignation letter to the company. But when he wrote a sentence, he felt strangely familiar. He had a flashback to his previous promotion. It was in the company message. A car woke with a start. He cut the plaster with broken glass. Sure enough, his leg was fine to begin with. Now, the only thing he hasn't been to is the underground church. Here are materials on the study of eels. A couple of deformed babies soaked in antiseptic. There were no cosmetics in front of the dressing table, but human skin masks. His guess turned out to be correct. The sanatorium is doing the same in human experiments that the Baron did. There is also a picture of a woman in a hall. Akhar recognized the pendant on the portrait. She is the Baron's sister. But the more he looked at it, the more wrong it was. How could the woman look so much like the strange girl? Then the gardener came to the church as usual. He finally learned that it was the dead bodies of the sick that the gardener brought to the church every night. He immediately went to find the girl. He wanted to run away with her, but the girl ran to the dean in a panic. The dean knew at a glance that the girl was menstruating for the first time. But strangely, he couldn't help laughing. Akhar chased him here to prevent the dean from taking the girl. He exposed the sanatorium's plot. Everyone stood up, but they surrounded Akhar. Turns out these people have been brainwashed by the dean. Akhar is loaded into the still. Next to him was a jar full of eel scurrying about. The dean stopped hiding it. The groundwater here does extend life, but if you drink it, you become dehydrated. Confused 
and even parasitized by eels. So they had to get someone else to drink it, filter it with eels, and then distill it out. As for eel filtration, the dean plugs in a pipe, the eel goes crazy into a car. Then, under the action of the still, the elixir is made. After disposing of the Ockhart, the dean sent the girl a wedding dress. It turned out that the man was raising the girl for his own sake. The girl's only hope now is Ockhart, but Ockhart has been brainwashed, too. The girl could only return the toy to him, resigned to leave. At night, the whole sanatorium was in a party. Ockhart sneaks into the dean's office. It turned out that after seeing the toy, his mind was finally awakened. He remembered seeing an old photograph when he first came. The picture shows a badly burned man. He smashed the frame and understood everything. It turned out that the Baron had not died, but also survived with his daughter. A Baron is a Prioris. The Baron never gave up his obsession with blood, but because girls use the elixir from birth, that's why she's maturing now. Now the Baron is going to have a child with his daughter. Fortunately, Akhart shows up just in time to ruin the Baron's plans. The Baron showed his true colors. Originally he had been burned beyond recognition. Can only rely on human skin masks to see people. Akhart has been pouring gasoline around. He threw out a lighter. The flames flared up in an instant. But the Baron didn't burn to death. He also pinned Akhart to the ground and hit him. Then the Baron heard the girl call him father. He looked back in surprise, but he was beaten to death by his daughter. The fire in the underground church also reached the nursing home. The carers fled in panic. The old people are still dancing silly. Akhart took the girl out of the nursing home. On the way, he met the company's board of directors. They couldn't wait any longer, so they came to Akhart and Frank themselves. The board will put Akhart in the car to explain the situation. Akhart walked walks over to the girl. He drove the girl down the hill. Did he just give up his wealth? Wrong. Don't forget, he already knows the secret of eternal life.